right now crypto.com coin is falling and in this exact video i will be talking about what kind of an influence this could be having on the bitcoin price action because right now an approximately 400 million us dollars worth of ethereum was sent to the wrong address by crypto.com i will be reveal everything what currently is going on because currently it looks like they have got 20 percent of all their reserves in shiba let's see what currently is going on i will be discussing all the actual news that currently is going on here so make sure to watch this video till the because i will be also go over and go for the most important charts here in crypto so without any further ado let's slap up that like button and once again can we smash it above 400 likes on today's video that will be absolutely incredible and with that being said let's jump straight away in towards the price section and initially i want to be looking at bitcoin and currently we can see that bitcoin has been coming down a little bit here over the course of the past few hours and in my opinion the reason why we're coming down with bitcoin is because there's even more fought in the market because currently it looks to be that potentially crypto.com coin or better said crypto.com in general is also going to be insolvent so since the high of an approximately 12 cents we've been dropping towards the downside with this coin for an approximately 48 percent and if you're zooming in here in basically the past day here we've been dropping from an approximately eight cents all the way down to six cents and that's been another drop of 20 percent and why is that happening because right now it looks to be that crypto.com is sending 320,000 ethereum towards gate.io very weird right you know what's the most interesting part five or seven days later gate.io sends 285,000 ethereum back towards the exchange and since crypto.com made a statement that all their user funds are held offline it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to send 320,000 ethereum towards gate.io and hours after this tweet got published chris the ceo of crypto.com basically said it was supposed to move to a cold storage address but it was sent to a whitelisted external exchange address we worked with the gate team and the funds were returned to our cold storage new process and features were implemented to prevent this from reoccurring then dylan leclerc said the ceo of crypto.com says he accidentally sent 400 million us dollars worth of ethereum to the wrong address widely irresponsible get off these platforms and that is also the reason why crypto.com is currently dropping and that is having a little bit of a bearish effect on the bitcoin price action currently as well and if we're looking at the crypto.com balance sheet we can see a 2.8 billion us dollar reserve and the most interesting part about this whole reserve is that 20 percent of their whole reserve is hold in shiba so in case we're going to be seeing a bank run on crypto.com the coins that will most certainly drop the most is going to be shiba so keep your eyes out wide open on shiba and i mean if 20 percent of your whole balance sheet is getting held in shiba i mean a bank run doesn't seem all too unlikely in my opinion i mean personally i wouldn't touch crypto.com you can see the price action already is dropping quite significantly and i would get your money off the platform as soon as possible and move it either towards gold storage or either towards trustworthy exchanges Furthermore, once looking at Bitcoin, is of course having a small little bearish effect on the Bitcoin price action since crypto.com is dropping and there's even more FUD entering the market. We can see in the four-hourly time frame for Bitcoin that we're currently squeezing in towards an apex. We're creating somewhat of a consolidation phase of this larger time frame consolidation we've been basically trading in. Right now, finally, the market has been starting to cool down. The market is starting to go sideways. And it's already three days that has gone by since we have seen the bottom. So things time is going by quite quickly and actually if you want to be shorting or trading crypto.com coin what actually could be a very good shorting opportunity in my opinion you could do so on the Bybit exchange of course i wouldn't recommend to use crypto.com because yeah if it goes bankrupt probably you won't get your funds off there so uh, make sure to check out Bybit right now in the link in the description if you're interested in trading crypto.com if you're a u.s user you can trade it on bitget because bitget allows you to trade from of the u.s and you can sign up an account without using kyc without using vpn anywhere over the world so make sure to check it out right now in the link in the description and they're also offering currently thirty thousand us dollars in deposit bonuses so make sure to check it out if you want to be benefiting from the volatility and the potential collapse of crypto.com because yeah probably it will send the industry even down furthermore but the fact of the matter is while this dumping you could still benefit from it by potentially opening a trade on it once looking at the bitcoin price action on the daily time frame we can currently see the june low retest has got in and ever since we got the june low retest we moved down significantly for bitcoin 
So far, it looks to be a very important level that we most certainly are not going to be easily break above of. And that is, of course, the 17.6k where I have been talking about for quite a while already on the channel. So, so far, the June low is providing a perfect rejection. If you did open the short on the exact call I gave over here, congratulations, because you're in a significant profit. And what I said yesterday as well, if we do break above this range, I personally expect a continuation towards the upside is going to be likely. But as long as we're not doing so, I mean, it's only likely to visit lower lows here. It is just not looking all too strong. But at the meantime, we are seeing the dollar index is collapsing. It's breaking its parabolic uptrend and it's coming down in a very rapid pace. Well, as well, the S&P 500 is recovering in a very quick manner back towards the upside. So on the classic stock market, things are starting to look very good here. And I mean, it's only going to be time till Bitcoin is going to be cover out all the FUD and everything that's currently going on in the market. But as soon as everything that clears out in the market, we could potentially maybe start to see that rebound in the market. However, currently, there will be still remain to be a lot of fear. And if crypto.com is insolvent and if it's going to fall, it will most certainly have a very bearish effect on Bitcoin. And Bitcoin could do to that even visit levels towards $14,000 in my opinion. Anyways, this was it for me on today's update video. If you do enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash up that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.